as well. I've created a new uh, warning and NOV letter database, and um, what I've done is gone through each and every letter that was generated and um, taken each violation, characterized each violation, and cate uh, categorized them so that uh, you will be able to do sorts based on types of violation. Uh, uh, you'll be able to do sorts based on number of violations, etc. cetera. Um, so I looked back, and for the year, um, out of the 52 letters that were sent, you can see those 52 letters contained a huge number of violations, um, well over 150. So the average letter carries about three to four violations uh, uh, in the letter. By far and away, the most frequent problem uh, uh, encountered by a company in its promotional material is the minimization or complete omission of risk information. And you gotta wonder, like, you know, you know you gotta put the risk information out there. How do you forget it, you know? Um, and yet, uh, there are an astonishing number of products each year that have promotions go out where it actually is not included um, uh, on the same uh, promotional material as the mention of the indication. So, but the bottom line here is that any time that you're talking about your medical product and what it does, you have to have a balanced presentation of what the risks are when you use it. That, that's it. There's, you know, that's the four corners of it. And yet, that simple instruction is apparently the hardest one to follow. Um, so you see that there were 60 violations in the 52 letters that involved the minimization or omission of risk. Um, you have um, uh, next in line um, in terms of volume and overstatement of efficacy. Um, this, again, is uh, the result of some aggressive language that may be included in the promotional material that's meant to make sure that your product is perceived as special or different. And the minute you do try those differentiators out, you're running some risk of uh, overstating efficacy. And we're going to go into the specific examples of each of these. Um, uh, the um, superiority claims um, are often, um, of course, in conjunction when comparing uh, uh, a drug to another um, very specifically. But, and, and you'll see this in, in some of the examples, this is very easy to do when you're not comparing your drug to another, but you use language that makes it sound like you are. And uh, the examples that uh, I have um, will demonstrate that, I think. 